Hey guys, hope you all are well. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can add a new input field in a form field using Smarty template. But before that, if anyone who still haven't subscribed my YouTube channel, then just click on a subscribe button. Also click on a bell icon so you will get all the notification about my channel. So let's start the today's tutorial. So I have started the SAM server. So this is how started the services of Apache and MySQL. Also I have run the PrestaShop projects on my local server. So this is the PrestaShop front office. In our previous tutorial, if you have seen about the PrestaShop back office, so how we can manage the PrestaShop back office functionality. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can add one in input field in the registration form. So let me show you the registration form of the Vista shop. So this is the form for the new customer. So we have, will add one new input field in this form. So let me show you the template file for the registration form. So I'm just opening the PrestaShop projects in editor. So here you will see the registration.tpl file. And here is our code. So all the template files extend the page.tpl. And the form that you have seen on the registration form. So that render from the customer form dot template file. So let me show you the customer form dot TPL file. So here is the customer form dot TPL. And here you will see the form tag. And under that form tag, you will see the block of a code that is for each it includes the form fields variable. So we are iterating all the input field and rendering it in a block. So actually the form field is what form field is one class. So it provides all the methods like set name, get name, set label. These methods are used for the input field. Or at the time of creation of the input field, we use that all these methods. So this form field class will provide all these methods. So this is the form field core class. And it provides all these methods like set name, get name, then set type, then set labels, set required. There are multiple methods which are provided by the form field class. So we'll use that class for creating a new field. So we need to create one input field like mobile number. So after the birth date field, we'll create one mobile number input. So I'm just starting the code. So there is one customer format or PHP file. It includes all the in input fields. That is first name. After that, there is a last name. Then there is a company name. Then the identification number is there. Then password, email. Then port date is there. So after the port date field, Create one new input field that is mobile number. So I'm just writing one array that is format. And under that format, I'm giving a name it as a mobile underscore number. Then we are creating an object of the form field. The simply bracket. We are creating the object of the input field. So, writing the object. This is the form field class. Then we'll write, write the name methods that is set name. And we'll give the name as a mobile underscore number. After that, we need to set the type for the input field. So we'll use the set type method. And we'll 
set the type it as a text for the mobile number then we'll set the label for that so we'll use sorry we use the set label method so under the set label method we'll use the translator so we are writing that all of this key for use the translator we'll set the name as so mobile number also we need to specify the domain as well so we'll write the shop dot forms dot labels so all the labels are come from comes from the shops dot forms dot labels so we need to specify that also also we need to make the field as a required so we'll use the set required method just need to specify it as true to that end with the semicolon so this is the code for creating a new input field so we are just creating the object of the form field class then we'll use the set name method for setting the name for the input field then we'll use the set type method for setting the type for the input field then we'll use the set label method for specifying the label then we'll use the set required method for making the field as required so this is the code so let me show you the updated registration form just i'm refreshing this page so you will see the mobile number field so our front end part is done at the backend side you will you will need to create or add mobile number field in a database as well so i'm just opening the customer.php file this is the model file so actually the prista shop is based on the model view controller so we need to specify all the database or table data into the model file so i'm just declaring the mobile number input field in a model file so here i am going to declare so actually i will show you the structure of the model file so this is the customer core class which extends the object model this is the main class of the model so here you will see all these variables or the column names which are in a customer table so here you will see the customer table so all the registration data or customer data will store it into the customer table so i'm just declaring the mobile number input field after the birth date so here is the birth date so i'm just declaring the mobile number so at the rate of r just declaring the type it as a string and uh, field is mobile underscore number after that you need to declare the public order mobile underscore number also we need to add that field into the table also so after the birth date field I'm just adding the mobile number input field. I'm declaring the type of the input field. Then it has a type as a string. Then we need to declare it as a required. required as a true i 
after that we need to declare size for the input field so that is 10 so here is 10 so just i'm declaring the input field that is mobile number the type is string and required true and defining the size as a 10 so the coding part is done in the database we need to add one column so i'm opening the php my admin so here is our database prestashop underscore db in that database you will see the ps underscore customer table so i'm just opening the ps underscore customer so in that table we'll need to create one column for storing the mobile number so at the last after the reset password validity field we'll add one column so i'm just writing one query so i'm just opening the query panel so i'm just writing one query that is alter table but table name is ps underscore customer and we'll add one column that is a name as mobile underscore number actually the name is same as like we are written in our code so we are return the num name as a mobile underscore number so we'll use the same name in our database field so that is mobile underscore number also we'll specify in the type for the input field that is rcal and we'll defining the size for that rcal are the semicolon so here is our query for adding a new column in a customer table so i'm just click on a blue go so here is our query is done let me show you the updated table So here you will see mobile number column. So our coding part is done. Our column is also our added. So we'll check by creating a new user. So we'll create one new user and we'll check if it is data will be stored or not in our table so i'm just creating one new user so we'll give some random name my favorite harry potter We need to specify the board date. Then we need to give some mobile number. Also, we need to accept all the terms and conditions. So I'm just clicking on all the terms and conditions. Just click on the save button. So here you will see the logged in user that we have created a new user as a Harry Potter. So we'll check in our database as well. So I'm just refreshing the page and we are checking if it is stored in our database or not. So yes, here you will see the new user entry that is customer id 7 and name is harry potter and at the last you will see the mobile number as well so we have stored the mobile number as well so as like this you can add a new input field also you can create a or you can change the code according to your requirement 
so this code is simple to understand and the smart template is also very easy to understand just you need to understand all these concept and methods and its functionalities so if you still have any doubts query about the smarty template about the presta shop front office back office any one of them so just ping me in a comment box then i'm definitely helping you so we'll see you in the next tutorial goodbye take care happy coding